Welcome back to my channel, I'm James. Today I've got some more really exciting advanced reviews and we're going to be deep diving into The Beekeeper and The Departed. Both upcoming 4K Ultra HD releases were sent to me about two weeks early for me to dive into and do these advanced reviews for all of you. Now as always I appreciate when studios send things to me for review, but as most of you know that have followed me for a long time, that never changes or affects my testing data or my review scores. Now I will tell you both of these films are very exciting films that I was looking forward to getting on 4K to test out because they're both really good films that will really surprise you if you've never checked these out before. So my hope was that the 4K releases would hold up to how enjoyable of a films they really are and that's what you're going to find out in today's comparison review. Now for The Departed, I did pull all the native data off of the 4K disc and the previous Blu-ray disc. And I'm going to be doing my exclusive side-by-side -side 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison review for The Departed. And then for The Beekeeper, I pulled the native 4K images and I'm going to show you what that looks like as well as all my testing data on both of these discs. And I always sum it up with my review score at the end to let you know the sum up total quality, image and sound quality, of both of these 4K releases to let you know if these are something you should buy and that you should add to your collection or if you should skip them altogether. Now I did just want to let you all know I did get in both the original Mean Girls and the musical remake reboot. I got both of these in on 4K early for review as well from Paramount Studios. I will be diving into these and reviewing these here very soon in an upcoming video as well. So don't worry, I am diving into and testing these simultaneously while I'm working on this review. So I will have these coming up here very soon as well. Now it's always very important. If you decide you're going to buy either of these after you hear my review scores, always make sure to go down and use those direct Amazon sailings I posted as a pinned comment in the comment section right below this video. Those links down there never cost you the viewer a penny extra but they are very important for me to be able to continue creating this content here on my channel. I'm not sponsored and I'm not paid by any of these studios to create any of these reviews. So the only way I can continue to create all these exclusive reviews you watch here on this channel is through you, my viewers and subscribers support through always using those direct Amazon sale links right down there below. Now to start off with here, I'm going to show you up above the native images pulled directly from the previous Blu-ray release. I will tell you the previous Blu-ray release I've probably seen about eight times. I really think this is one of Martin Scorsese's best films and I've always really enjoyed the film itself. Though the previous Blu-ray release was a softer and poorer looking Blu-ray release. I always felt that it really lacked depth detail it just wasn't a beautiful transfer and it really had a dull image color grading and otherwise on it that just lended to it just not being just a beautiful blu-ray transfer now i am happy to report this got a brand new 4k transfer in hdr 10 master that was approved and supervised by thelma schoonmaker the original film editor and producer worked directly on this 4k release and i can tell you as you're probably noticing those native images pulled from all these discs up above this new 4k image has very strong depth and detail in it that far surpasses the previous soft and poor blu-ray depth and detail on this will surprise you the amount you can see in their hairs pores all of their clothing especially like the police uniforms you can see little hairs of fabrics on it that you could never see on the previous blu-ray release at all it really lacked a lot of that depth and detail that is nicely present on this new 4k transfer I can also tell you it does have filmic film grain in it, though there was some slight issues I did encounter in it. It does have some very slight digital noise that causes some clumping with the film grain. Well, you'll notice the digital noise kind of mixing with the film grain, which causes in some small areas of the image, some slight blocking and clumping. It's very, very brief and you have to really be looking for it and know what you're looking for. So most people are probably never going to notice it. But me, as I always do this to test and analyze all of these and kind of be nitpicky for all of you, I did pick that up when I was going through all my testing in comparison to other releases. You do notice there is a little bit of clumping and digital noise that mixes with that film grain. But otherwise, the image itself far surpasses in every single area the previous Blu-ray release. And I will tell you the HDR10 master they did to this adds much needed life and gone is that dull and almost grayed out appearance of the previous Blu-ray release. 
You actually have very healthy and natural looking skin tones, the blues of the police uniforms and all the colors, blue skies and everything are no longer grayed out like they were on the previous Blu-ray release, where it just had a soft and gray appearance overall through the entire runtime. That's gone. This has a natural and filmic appearance that has very nice, good color grading on it. That was what it appeared like when I originally saw it in theaters that the previous Blu-ray release was completely lacking. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down there and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of these advanced reviews when the studios send me things just like this two weeks early for review. That way you're notified right away when I get this stuff in. So make sure you go down there, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now, for the new 4K release of The Departed, we also get an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.0 one lossless mix and I will tell you it is a nice healthy improvement over the previous Dolby Digital Blu-ray release audio mix. I will tell you the audio mix on the Blu-ray was slightly softer and quieter. It lacked a lot of the range that is present on this. This has better range. It is very clean and clear sounding and I will tell you I didn't have the issues of the softer audio scenes where there's numerous ones on the previous Blu-ray where the audio just got very soft. You'd have to turn it up. Then there would be something loud. You'd turn it back down. Overall, the audio mix on this, it was good, but not amazing. Thankfully, on this new 4K release, the audio mix is very good. You will notice you enjoy it from beginning to end. You don't have those issues with the fluctuations going up and down. And it's much easier to hear from beginning to end. And I will tell you, you will notice the range on it is far better than the previous Blu-ray release. Now for this 4K release, it does come in two different flavors. It's available in a standard 4K case, which I will link both of them down below. The standard 4K case comes with a slip cover and a standard case. This is the steelbook that was sent to me for review. And this does come in a limited edition steelbook set. It says limited edition on it. I do like the artwork. It is a matte finish so there's no embossing on it or any glossy pieces it's all matte finish but i do like the artwork on it it says the departed on it on the side it says departed and warner brothers logo on it and then when you get to the back here it does have this j card that comes off and it does have other artwork of the rats on the back of it so in this set you just get your 4k disc and i did test it for all of you and it's 100 percent region free the blu-ray disc because the previous transfer was so poor i'm perfectly fine that the studios have now started listening and are taking those blu-rays out and lowering the cost by a couple of dollars a dollar to each one less because they're not including the previous blu-rays especially when they're a poor transfer i'll never go back and watch that blu-ray again anyways because the 4k is really a massive improvement now i did dive into and test out the rough average bitrate for you. I am happy to report it has a healthy and strong 67 megabits per second. Lens to why there's so much more depth and detail in that image. Lens to why the film looks so nice and has such a filmic image from beginning to end. Beautiful colors with that HDR10 implementation. Overall, I'm very pleased with what they did with this 4K transfer in comparison to the dull and poor previous Blu-ray. Now, if you want a recommendation of another personal favorite crime drama film that to me goes along with how much I enjoy The Departed as a crime drama, you'll want to check out Carlito's Way. I did an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison review and I actually did a 4K versus 4K image comparison review and I did that both in the original review and then also in my 4K versus 4K comparison video. Video. Both of those are available right now here on this channel. If you have not checked out that crime drama, if you like The Departed at all, you will love Carlito's Way. It is another really good stellar crime drama. I can tell you I love Leonardo DiCaprio in this. I really think that him and Matt Damon, they really do an outstanding job in this film. Jack Nicholson, man, he's got some scenes that just really scare you almost with his just intense performance. And I'll tell you, Martin Scorsese, for me, was at the top of his game with this film. This is one of my personal favorite Martin Scorsese films of all time from 2006. Now, getting to my review score. For The Departed on 4K Ultra HD, this gets an excellent 9.3. It's a must buy. You need to buy, have in your collection, throw your old Blu-ray away. You'll never want to experience it on Blu-ray again especially after you get to see the quality of this 4K release as you're seeing up above in those image comparisons. It is a very healthy and very nice improvement that surprised me that they did such a nice job with this because I was so looking forward to this, but I was slightly worried as well because if you followed me here on my channel, there's been 
quite a few releases over the last year that have not turned out well for some of my favorite films too. That I was disappointed in the releases and I let you know about that in the reviews that they weren't recommended. This is one of those that's a must buy you need to have in your collection. Support this release. If you decide you're going to buy this now, I put that direct Amazon sale link right down there below. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you going to be ordering the limited edition steelbook before it sells out? Or are you going to be getting the standard 4K case? Obviously, I'm excited for the steelbook. I've been a sucker for steelbooks lately. I've been collecting them like crazy. I've gotten on this kind of binge that even if I have films in standard cases, once I find out there's a steelbook, I've been buying them or ordering them. So let me know if you're kind of one of those suckers like me that's just addicted to steelbooks all of a sudden. Start that conversation in the comment section below and let me know if you're excited for this now, now that you've heard my review score. Next up, we have the 2024 Jason Statham action thriller, The Beekeeper. I will tell you this was directed by David Ayer, and I actually talked with him originally when I made my original announcement, talked with him directly about this 4K release and some of the work he personally did on it. And I'll share a little bit more about my brief conversation with him a little bit later on in this video. But I can tell you this 4K release is a native 4K 2160p, and it does have HDR10 on it. I can tell you the native 4K image on this has an extreme level of depth and detail in it that will drastically surprise you when you start watching it. Depth and detail on this is one of those things that you kind of sit there and you almost kind of blink several times because you're like, am I seeing the depth and detail that I think I'm seeing? And you almost wonder if you're looking out of a glass window. Now it does have very, very light filmic film grain in it, but to be honest with you, when you're sitting at normal range from your TV, depending on the size of your TV, if you've done that correct calibration based on how far away you should be based on the size of your TV, you will notice that the depth and detail on this is absolutely stunning. And it produces a very beautiful native 4K transfer. And I will tell you the HDR10 was implemented perfectly. It produces brilliant whites, inky blacks, zero black crush. Colors are wonderful from beginning to end. Skin tones, explosions. They almost really sear your eyeballs in a sense of the explosions in it, like when the gas station explodes. Man, did it just look outstanding. And the native 4K image is really wonderful looking from beginning to end. There was zero issues. No banding, blocking, digital noise, black crush, nothing whatsoever. It is one of those beautiful and really enjoyable 4K images. Now, there's another big treat we get in this as well. As I shared at the beginning, I did talk directly with the director himself back when I made my announcement a while back about this, and he explained to me about the work he did on the English Dolby Atmos audio mix. David Ayer mentioned that he did a lot of specialized work to make sure that this had one of those extremely immersive and very strong Dolby Atmos audio mixes. Well, I'm very happy to report that after all of my exclusive testing on my reference quality home theater system, that what David Ayer shared with me is 100% accurate. This is one of those reference quality, extremely immersive, extremely strong, it has great range, and really good LFE. I will tell you there are some things in it that fill up. You will rattle your neighbor's windows off and some of the explosions, I literally was sitting there like just kind of like shaking. It was so good. It is one of those extremely immersive Dolby Atmos audio mixes. And I will tell you there is one of those really cool effects for the Dolby Atmos with the bees where they actually implement it, where you could hear bees going overhead around you. You felt like you were sitting in the middle with bees all around you, using those hype channels wonderfully well throughout the film. And I will tell you that bee effect was one of those that really made me just smile. And that's what I'm looking for out of a very good and strong Dolby Atmos mix, is for them to use those hype channels in unique ways that really pulls you into the film and makes you feel like you're sitting in the middle of the beehive with everything going on around you just like the character in the film is. Well, David Ayer was right. He did a lot of very good work on the Dolby Atmos mix to make sure that it uses those hype channels throughout it and uses them in very unique ways to consistently give you the experience that you're sitting inside the film. And that's what makes it a very strong and immersive Dolby Atmos mix. 
Now, showing what you get in this, this does come in this really nice, like, metallic slip cover. I really like the cover and how metallic it is. On the side, it says The Beekeeper. On the back, it talks about the film. You do get a digital movie anywhere code that if you want to redeem that, it does redeem it in 4K, though it's not the same native 4K image that you will see and not the same audio quality that you will hear from this native 4K. Now, inside here, you do get your 4K disc. I did test it, as I always do for all of you. It's 100% region-free. And you do get your digital copy, which would sit right here. There's no Blu-ray included in the 4K release because, like I said, Warner Brothers has been cutting those out. Now, I did dive into and test out the rough average bitrate for all of you. I am happy to report this has an extremely high, healthy, and strong 78 megabits per second. From beginning to end, it lends to why it has such a wonderfully beautiful 4K image. Very strong Dolby Atmos depth and detail will very much surprise you. I can tell you as far as the film goes, if you have not watched this film yet, it's not a cheesy action thriller. I actually will tell you it is not like The Expendables. If you haven't checked out my Expendables review, I reviewed Expendables 1 through 4, all of the films that are out of The Expendables I did in that previous review. That's an action, Jason Statham, kind of more cheesy, lighthearted action series. You can't take The Expendables seriously. Everything in The Expendables is kind of over-the-top throwbacks to kind of action films where they get shot a hundred times but nobody actually gets shot and lots of kicking, running at bullets and not getting shot. And that's kind of the way The Expendables was. That's not the way The Beekeeper is. The Beekeeper is more or less a more grounded action thriller and it's pretty darn slick. And I will tell you it has a lot of character and heart behind it. I really enjoyed the story of basically, and I won't give everything away, but you know how you get those scam calls that somebody calls you on the phone and they claim that they're the IRS or they claim they're some other government agency and they need your social security or they need some information from you and then they try to scam you by stealing your bank account or stealing your money. Well, it kind of starts off that way that somebody he personally knows has that happen to her and then basically goes on to a deeper story that I don't want to give away because it's a pretty cool element of it, but going after the scammers and those that are basically harming innocent people. I love that element of the story because it kind of gave you the hero and a good hero, a hero of somebody going after the bad people and he's a good guy trying to stop the wickedness going on. I love that element of it. I think Jason Statham is great in it. Obviously, he's a great action star. But in this one, this is more one of his serious, slick action thrillers. And I think David Ayer did an absolutely great job with this film. I really like a lot of David Ayer's films. And I'm really hoping End of Watch gets released on 4K. I did mention that to him and asked. He didn't say it's actually being released on 4K. But it is one of my personal favorite David Ayer films that I really do hope gets released on 4K. And once I find out, if he lets me know that it is going to be worked on for a future 4K release, as always, I'll share that with all of you as soon as I can in a big announcement video. But as of right now, it wasn't something he shared with me that's being worked on. But this is one of those films that goes in his catalog of a very good action movie that has some heart and some really good story elements that keeps you engaged, not just in the action side of it, but actually in the story and the character of what's going on in the film itself. Now, getting to my review score for The Beekeeper on 4K Ultra HD, this gets an outstanding reference quality 9.7. It is a must buy, you need to buy, add to your collection and experience not only the wonderfully beautiful 4K image, but also that incredibly immersive Dolby Atmos audio mix. You can use it like with the B scenes that I was explaining to show off your hype channels and your home theater system because man, people will feel like they're all around them and it actually almost gives you that feeling like a bee is going to land on your shoulder because you're really encased in all of the bees all around you, behind you, above you, on the sides of you, and it's a very cool experience. And for that experience alone, let alone that the film is one of my highest recommendations for a recent action film, a lot of recent action films I really just haven't enjoyed a lot of them. This is one of them that really surprised me how enjoyable it is. And honestly, it's one of those that's a reference quality 9.7. You gotta buy this, add this to your collection, and experience this film because not only is the story great, but you'll be blown away by the 4K image and the amazing Dolby Atmos. Let me know in the comment section below, have you seen this film yet? Let me know if you're excited to get to experience this here in about a week and a half when this releases. Start that conversation in the comment section below and let me know, 
Are you excited to experience this the first time on this reference quality 4K? Or did you get to see it originally in theaters? Now, it's always very important. If you decide you're gonna buy any of these and add these to your collection, now that you've heard my reviews and testing analysis, always go down and use those direct Amazon sale links I pinned as a comment in the comment section right below this video. Those links down there never ever cost you a penny extra. Simply by clicking on them, you show your support of these videos and all this time and work I take testing, analyzing, and pulling all the native data to show you these image comparisons up above. So make sure if you wanna buy these or add these to your collection, always use those direct Amazon sale links right down there below. If you wanna show your support even more and join my Collectors VIP Club, I always appreciate everyone that does that as well. That goes back into the testing, the software, all of that keeps this channel running, and I can't do it without any of your support. And that's why I wanna say thank you to every one of you. That is, click through those links down there below, join my Collectors VIP Club and supported this channel. I really do appreciate it. And I love doing this with all of you every single week. These are some big, exciting releases. And I've got here coming up soon, the Mean Girls films, those will be coming out here. And I've got those available and working on them right now. So we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming out right now. As always, I truly hope all of you have a blessed day. And I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.